Hello folks and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, we have the new Phase 1 update. And I have been... Let's get the map turned around here. Uh, I In the first episode of this, I went all the way up in here. I did one mission and found out that I had a bridge over here that needs to be taken care of. It needs some steel. So I did bring a truck up here somewhere right there it is and I went ahead and brought two steel up even though it only needs one and I have the doo -doo -doo, heading its way up here is the Azov and it has the big crane on it so I'm gonna take one of the steel off in case I need it somewhere else so I don't have to go all the way back to the garage and along with it is the uh, where is it? See the step brought that up. Nope. Uh, brought another vehicle up. Oh, it was a step. Okay, so the step is coming up with it with fuel trailer for the scow vehicle. But before that, I have another watchtower over here. And for that, I am using the Western Star. So let's go to the Western Star. And we will continue on. And yeah, they have done something to the steering of these trucks. They don't go back the way they should. Or the way they have been. So that is some bad luck. I drove my SUV to the marshes and the engine died. I don't know a thing about cars, so I had to walk. Please do me a favor if you could tow me to the guard house and I will take it from there. So we'll accept that. So trying to accept all the missions as I get to them. Yeah, I don't like what they've done to the steering on the big trucks. Don't like it one bit. I am getting a little used to it, but I still don't like it. Uh, I like when I let go of the joystick that the uh, steering snaps back straight. It makes it a lot easier to steer. You don't have too much oversteer. Oh, come on. Ah, I was trying to get it in low gear. Get the diff lock set, and I wasn't watching where I was going. So I should set marker so I know where this is located and I wanted to bring the Western Star out to see because all the Russian vehicles seem to be doing that the steering does not want to snap back like it did and I wanted to see if the American vehicles are doing the same because the load star is when you let go of the steering it goes back straight or when I let go of the joystick but the bigger trucks if you're going at a pretty good clip then it will uh oh looks like I've got to go down that way But they don't want to just snap back, and it's making the steering much more difficult. Uh, 
Ah, don't want to want, want the X. Okay, it's a beautiful map so far. I really like the map. And I really like how now that I've got these three watchtowers open on this side. Uh, let's go over here and find the edge of the map. So right now I'm at the bottom left of the map. And I still have some areas up here that I'm going to drive through to open up. But the map comes all the way up to here. And then zoom out. So all of this area, I'm going to have to drive that to find out what's over there. There are no more watchtowers. And I think that's pretty cool. It gives you some exploration to do. And you're going to have a lot of dark areas you're going to have to go into. So that's going to be pretty cool. I still need to come up in here. Because this part, I don't know where that goes. Uh, I was, I heard there was going to be two maps. So maybe this leads up to the second map. I don't know. I'll find out when I get uh, some other vehicles up here. And we'll go ahead and stop you. And we will go over to our step. And... What I did was I bought a fuel tanker, which is the back one, to carry behind the uh, Lodestar. And the one in the front, that is the one that was a mission trailer. So I loaded up the back one and then loaded up this one, and I've got the uh, crane holding them down. So far, it seems to be working pretty good. So we will see how it... See if it continues to work. Luckily, when they're at an angle, they don't leak out. Oh, yeah, I gotta go over here. Oh, and I'm falling through there. Up, 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 get back. See, that's what I hate about this damn steering. You've got to watch the tires. When the steering's like this, you have to watch it because you never know when you're going straight. Whereas before, I can watch the road and actually feel the turns. And be able to tell when I'm going straight easier. So I don't know why they did this, but I hope it's something they're going to change back. I'm really not enjoying this. Alright, so let's see if we can get up here. Without losing my load. Which is one of the reasons why I picked this bed versus the flat bed that I normally get. going to do is back that in here and then go get the other truck and pull this one through. Ah oh, crap, keep getting the wrong one. See, as off. So I do remember the one playthrough that I watched on the test server, there is a trailer behind a fence that you have to pick up and get outside the fence. And there's an achievement on here for picking up a mission, a special mission trailer with a crane five meters 
So I do remember that this guy was trying to get, trying to find a way in there, and he couldn't. So he went and got a big crane and picked it up. So hopefully this would count toward that achievement. And I think that the F750, you will find it on this map, but you've got to tow it someplace. I kind of tuned him out when he was doing that because I want to do that on my own without too much guidance. you there and get the other one. Okay, which one? Oh, the step. We got so many trucks out here. Okay, change trucks. And do my winch. And we'll see if we can't get through here. Because this was not easy to bring the other truck with the metal on it. Uh, this area here is tough to get through. needs to be a mission where you can bring like a temporary bridge or bring some logs out here and stack them up so you can get through that area easier. That would be pretty cool. Have to use the crane and take the logs off the trailer and stack them up properly. Or you get uh, concrete blocks and do that. Again, damn steering. I did attempt to go straight through there. That does not look like a good place to go through. So I have avoided it since there is a gate going in here. And then a gate on the other side of it. And that mission trailer is right on the other side there. You see a little brown thing there right above the old crossing so you can see it right there it's some kind of experiment or something like that I'm not sure I don't know. but I will leave this parked here to open up that mission and we will go get the step.
I was about to say, where the heck did my truck go? And I loaded both of these with that crane, so I'm going to try to unload them with this crane. See if it'll work. may be too heavy. Yep, they're too heavy. So, restore the crane. Change my truck. Go ahead and stop the engine. And this one's about out of fuel. So activate anchors. My crane. Which is another reason why I brought this big crane over. So this is the mission trailer. This is the one that I bought and brought over for my scout gear. Spun around a little bit. And it won't extend out enough, so... Bring it back. And I guess I can leave this like that. And change my truck again. And I'm going to need fuel. Let's go ahead and... Fuel it up, go over and take a beam off, and then make our delivery. Build our bridge. Huh. Don't remember having to go into this every time I wanted to refuel. Don't know if that's a new thing or what. And change trucks. We're off to take a metal off. Come back and get that fuel tanker. 
carry with me. Because I have no idea, are there any other gas stations? Are there... Or is there... Other trailers around? And... I have already... Unpack the cargo. do it right for a change instead of just dropping it in. And we'll lower it down in there. Ah, uh, close enough. And pack the cargo. Store the crane. And I am off. Oh, I forgot about this already. No tipping. I know that. Let's try the winch. Man, a lot of winch points. And I have no idea where I'm at. There we go. I was worried there, I thought I was going to tip it. It's only been an hour or so since I uh, came through here. Oh, breaking the ice. That adds an entirely new element to a delivery. You could, if it's deep enough, you could break the ice on one side and flip your truck over. That could suck. Alright, well I got this truck over here, I can find out... Uh, yeah. don't want to go through anything really sketchy deep with the load on here if it was empty I'd try it 
but this is a heavy load. So let's take the easier path. Oh crap, there's a metal there. Never even noticed it. But I didn't have a crane over here. So I could not have loaded it. So, I need to offload it. See, a bridge like this should take several, several loads and uh, several loads of steel and a couple loads of concrete. So I say these missions are a little too easy. Yeah, that should have taken at least three loads. Maybe even four. Two loads of steel. Two loads of concrete. Yeah, make it a little bit challenging. Alright, so before I take this over, I'm going to go back and get the fuel tanker. Could have pulled it on over with that truck using the winch but I didn't want to run into any issues where the tongue would dig in and end up flipping the truck so I have three steel in the or two more steel in the vicinity it's the right way But I probably, knowing my luck, I won't need any more steel on this entire map. Other than running into trees, the only, I think the only vehicle I've taken damage on the roads has been this vehicle. Maybe because it moves a little bit faster, but... That kind of sucks. This is my go-to scout. Which all may change when I find the uh, Ford. It might turn into my go-to scout. Try a different angle. Nope, I think that's worse. Nope, I go in this entrance. Still trying to get used to this map. There's my tanker. So since this has a semi-trailer on it, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up.
That way I don't have to back it up to the uh, other tanker. Yeah, I knew this was going to suck. But it is giving me the telephone pole, so... Make sure that I can reach my tanker. Come on, you can do it. And the sun is setting. Almost looked like something blue over there. Uh, right at the corner of that telephone pole there. That little cross member there. Popped my eye because it was bluer than everything else. Thought it might be a vehicle. I have no idea where these vehicles are. But there should be two of them on this map. Or at least there were two of them on the test server, from what I understand. I go too far. Okay, that just goes there. I still need to take something up here, and I think I will take the uh, tractor over here and go up there and see what's up in that area. But first, I'm going to go this way. See what I can find. I'm going to have to explore a lot of area. Well, that ain't good. That is not good at all. Did this open up anything? I 
Don't see any vehicles offhand. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to go down here, cross over to there. Yeah, I don't want to attempt to go down that. There was nothing there telling me to build a bridge. This could get interesting. Most snow is right here. Look at that started to crack there. I think anything heavier would have. I bet there was a road. Off to my left. So we over there. I think anything heavier might have broken through the ice. Wow, desolate. Not even running in, in, into any missions. Nothing up there. And I will take a closer look at all these little areas using the map view. Uh, right now I'm just trying to get to the edges of the map. some kind of military installation to our left. Tough trailer. See anything down in there? Nothing up in here. How far do I have to? Okay, so the edge of the map is up here. So I can continue on this way. Split path. Go to the right, it seems easier. May not be, though. Okay, and let's go to back to daytime. Uh, 
for the YouTube video so that you can see it. Another split. Looks like it comes back together up here. Okay, I've got a house and a building, or two houses, and some kind of installation up here. Maybe a couple of them. When I get up here, I need to turn. Maybe. Oh, that might not be good. Uh, let's take the dead tree first. Try not to rip it down. Seems to be holding. Wow. That is a mess through there. this road. Luckily there's a lot of trees. Hopefully the snow isn't as deep once I get past these trees. Stuck on one. Going through their backyard. But it doesn't look like there's anybody home to complain. Oh, if I get stuck here, I'm screwed. There's another building over there. One there. Go ahead and refuel. Lighten the load in the trailer by a little bit. Might make it easier to pull. Can I attach that light pole? Okay, 
attach my trailer. Ooh, this may not be good at all. Oh, I might be high centered. Get that pole? No. Well, I wanted to pull front end around, but it's pulling me backwards. Yeah, I am stuck good. So we pull the back end around. Not that far, dang it. Okay, so let's evaluate where we are at. It seems to be the way to get through here. Maybe I should have went that way. That snow drifts too. But it might be easier to get through. Then again, it might not be. Action. Try going more to the right. This doesn't work, I'm just going to back out of here. centered well yeah, I thought it's gonna get more traction all right so can't go this way Yeah, it's worth a try. So how else can I get through there?
maybe along through here. Let's give that a try. Come on. Right over there is the road. And I've got trees over... Oh, wait a minute. Might be easier right... Just going right through here. if it will allow me to get to that telephone pole. It's got a box at the bottom, so... it might allow it. Yes. trailer. Go up here and explore. Looks like a little community. Or some kind of old factory. There's a road up there. There's a roadblock here. And I don't see any vehicles. So we'll see if we can push on through here. And see what happens. That road looks awful steep. Something was affecting the camera. This road has a lot of tire tracks on it. Somebody's been through here.
trailer might be my issue.